What's up everybody, it's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. I hope all y'all having a blessed and wonderful day, okay? So, I'm sure you guys know by the title, y'all know what time it is, okay? It's order in the court. It's order in the court. We're gonna be seeing what is the karma for toxic family members and fake ass friends. I mean, it is what it is, you feel me? We're gonna be delving in and seeing um, who are these people and what kind of influences they may have had over our lives. And we're also gonna be uh, seeing what they try to block, but was coming through anyways for us. And then we're gonna be using this karma deck and see what the karma is. Now, before I go forward with this, okay, I'm gonna address something. Y'all know how I do, I address when I feel like addressing, you feel me? So I'm gonna address something right now. So what I wanna address right now is uh, some of the people who may have um, misunderstood some of the posts that I posted in the community tab. Like when I said karma for the toxic family members and fake friends. And when I said karma for the, for the fake and demonic religious uh, people. Now I had somebody address me. So we're talking about, oh, you being, they sent me like five paragraphs and y'all know damn well, well, I didn't read no five paragraphs of nothing. You feel me? So it says something like, you know, you being judgmental. I can't follow you no more. Like I give a fuck. I don't care. You being judgmental and the Bible says X, Y, Z and da -da -da -da, da -da -da, the Bible says this, that, and da -da -da. first and foremost, let me tell you a little something. Let me enlighten you in a little something here before we get started. All right. I studied many different religions. Okay. Um, I don't have nothing against religion, but it's not for me. I'm not religious. You feel me? So trying to hit me with quotes from the Bible and shit like that, it's not going to work because I'm not a Christian. You feel me? The fuck? Make it make sense, sis. I know you was a dude, but make it make sense, sis, because right now, you know, you, you, you moving, you moving really like a marshmallow. You moving, you, you moving really fluffy right now. You feel me? So it's like you sitting here trying to, trying to judge me off of me saying karma, we, we gonna be delving into the karma for people who are out here hiding behind religious titles and doing fuck shit behind the scenes. Like, make it make sense. Either you were confused or you're one of the demons out here doing that too. Because anybody with common sense knew what I was talking about. I'm talking about people who hide behind religion and they do evil deeds they do evil things to people right they out here raising all kind of hell but then they hide behind a label of christianity they hide behind label of buddhist they hide behind label of a, a hindu they hide behind all these different religious labels but they ain't upholding they're not living up to these labels that they're hiding behind that's who i'm talking about now if you had a problem with that then you definitely your ass is definitely in the wrong place just like i told Whoever that person was, I'm gonna need you to skip, hop, skip over on the Joel Osteen's channel and have at it. You know what I'm saying? Cause we ain't with that over here. Over here, we find out what the karma is for the people who are here doing the fuck shit. That's what we find out. And ain't nothing wrong with that. And ain't nothing you could say or do that's gonna make me think it's something wrong with that. Now order in the court. Now let's get on with our regular schedule programming here. So we're talking about today toxic karma that's coming for the toxic family members and fake friends okay now i wrote some notes down because i got this download a few days ago y'all y'all know when i get the downloads and if i can't do the reading right then and there i am going to make notes so i don't forget nothing you feel me so fail these people The ones that we're gonna be talking about today are the ones that have been blocking you from all your life, okay? This is for those out there who who are naturally too. It's not only for you, but it's it's also for the ones who are who are light workers, who are the spiritual warriors, who are the empaths, who are the star seeds. Y'all know the whole drill, y'all know the whole laundry list, you feel me? And I feel like that you guys have more so been attacked by your family and friends as well because of who you are, okay? Because of what your purpose here on this earth. And that's why you are constantly being attacked. And that's why people are trying to constantly bring down your uh, energy levels, okay? And your frequency. 
You've been dealing with people who have been jealous. I'm talking about family members also, family, specifically family members. And then we're gonna trickle off to the, to the friends after that, you feel me? But for family members also, you've been dealing with jealous people, friends too. You've been dealing with people who've been in secret competition with you, okay? You've been dealing with people who, who, who have been spiteful towards you for no reason, okay? This is you going about your business, La 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 la. Going about you, and, and, and then them jumping out of the bushes and trying to make your life a living hell. For what though? For what? Make it make sense. Cause right now where I'm sitting right now, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And that's what spirit is telling me. You know what? It's time for the karma. You feel me? It's time for the karma. Because you're not gonna keep on beating these innocent people down for nothing and getting away with it. It has to stop. Play time for your ass, for your fake, for your weird ass is over. Okay, it's it's over. It's done. It's done. Now, these people have uh, have misunderstood you. Okay, they didn't even take the time to try to understand you. Okay, they automatically saw that you were different. Okay, something about you was different than them. They ain't try to understand that some of y'all had different spiritual beliefs. Some of you guys may have had different religious beliefs in your family. Okay. They didn't, were not open to um, accepting you for who you are. You know, these are people who look down on you and use their religion too, to make you feel like uh, that something is wrong with you. You feel me? These are people who gossiped about you behind your back when you've done nothing to them. These are people who maliciously attacked you when you've done nothing to them, okay? These are people who stole from you, who borrowed money from you and didn't pay it back, okay? This is people who betrayed you, who, who went out of their way to embarrass you, all right? These are people who were out here and who are still out here today campaigning to kill your spirit, okay? They want to stop you from doing what, you, what you're here to do. These people are so low vibing that they use, that they let these demonic forces use them and work through them to take you down or, or knock you off of your frequency, or knock you off of your high vibes to try to stop you from what you're here to do. Those are the ones who we're talking about today, okay? Those are the ones, all right? These are people using you for your money and your talents, okay? They see you, they know that you're gifted, right? They know that you're here for a purpose. On one hand, they're tearing you down. On another hand, they're asking you for stuff, okay? Because they know that you're blessed. They know that you are abundant, that you will always receive, that you, that you have access. You manifest the things that you want in your life and you have access to unlimited abundance in your life, all right? And they know that. But they will never let you know that they know that. They will never let you know that they know that it's something different in a good way about you, all right? But what they will do is tell you it's something different about you and then try to spin it and make it like it's something bad, something that you should be ashamed of, you know? These people, they find it hard to give you credit for anything, okay? You could have just saved this motherfucker, saved them from, from, from losing their life. You could have saved these people from getting evicted, all right? You could have saved these people from many different things, but they will never give you credit because they don't want you to have that. They don't want to build you up. Their job is not to build you up. Their job is not to empower you. Their job is not to elevate you. Their job is to tear you down and knock you off of the throne, okay? And some of y'all, it's the throne that they put you on. It's the pedestal they put you up on, you feel me? Because they know that it's something different about you, but in a good way, in a special way, you feel me? Because these people, they don't accept your life calling. They don't accept your life's mission and they want to stop you from, from, from achieving it because then it'll make them feel that you are better than them. It'll give, it'll give them, they already feel that you're better than them. That's why they try to take you down. Y'all need to realize something here today. The only people who can be quote unquote torn down is people who are up 
elevated past the person who's trying to tear you down. You need to you need to remember that, okay? If a person is, is actively trying to tear you down, that means that they actively have you up on a, they actively, actively put you up on a pedestal. You might not even be the arrogant and conceited one. You might not have put yourself up there. They put you up there. So being that they automatically put you up there, now they feel like they, they, they need to tear you down, you feel me? Whose fault is that? Is it your fault? Is it your fault for being who you are, who, you, who you're meant to be on this earth at this time now? Is it your fault? No. And we have people out here who's downing you for your lifestyle and your life path, okay? Not letting you be who, not letting you be your true and authentic self, all right? Not letting you be the spiritual warrior that you're meant to be, right? I get that shit all the time, like from people, from random people, from strangers, from weirdos. I get it, you know? My family don't really uh, know what I'm here to do, right? It's because they don't feel like they don't feel like if I don't agree with them on certain things, religious things, that I, I can't be uh, one of the, the people who were chosen to, to, to do a certain thing or do a certain job, you know? But that's okay. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. You have to. And my message to a lot of y'all, y'all got to stop caring about what these people think about you and how they feel and stop trying to seek their acceptance because you're not meant to seek acceptance from nobody. The only exceptions that you should be seeking is the one for yourself, okay? One for yourself and spirit, right? That's it. Not these other people because they don't want to see you elevate, you know? Especially if you're not doing what they want you to do. These people want to control you. They want you to do, they want you to, to thrive but not thrive better than them, you know? Some of them don't even want your ass to thrive, you feel me? They don't want you to, to elevate and be uplifted. But that doesn't mean that you have to allow them to tear you down and stop you from doing what you meant to do, you know? To stop you from living your life, your best life, you know? Some of these people, for some of y'all, these people fight you, you know? These people have, have been violent towards you. Some of these people put hands on you. Some of these people attack you verbally, physically, mentally. You feel me? To try to stop you, okay? These people who you so quote unquote called your family, you know, gave them that title. And even these fake ass friends who gave them that title, the whole while they've been moving like enemies. They've been moving like snakes, you know? But because we allowed them to hide behind that, that, that title of family, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna include the friends in that too, because friends, your close friends are like family as well. That's how I see it. So being that we allow them to, to hide behind that, that label, it gave them free reign to us because they had the closest, they were closest to us, right? So it gave them the opportunity to unload whatever clips they needed to unload us because they were right by us, right close to us. They're the, they're the ones who uh, have a shot to affect us the most, you know? Because we allow them to hide behind a specific label. We allow them to, to get away with things because they fell under that label. We put that, we slapped that label on them. Y'all know, let me tell y'all something. Just because some got a label on it, that don't mean that it's authentic, you feel me? Something could say that it's organic. I could slap, or, I, I can go to, the grocery store right now and, and find some of the regular the, the regular fruit that's not organic and slap a label on it and make you think it's organic because it got that label on it. Y'all see how stupid that is? I'm not calling y'all stupid, but you see how, how naive that is, you know? Anybody can slap a label on anything, but that does not mean that is exactly what it is, you know? Because people will try to sell you a dream. People will try to get you to buy their products, get you to buy what they're selling right so that you could believe them and they can maintain that access to have direct direct access to you to attack you whenever they feel like attacking you we got to stop that y'all we got to stop we got to stop giving people the key we got to stop giving people the key and direct contact to us we got to start setting up boundaries we got to start stripping people of these fucked up ass labels 
because these labels is what's getting us hurt out here. These labels is what's getting us tricked, bamboozled, labels. When you take the label off, you see exactly what it is and you accept it for what it is, you feel me? Some of you guys are here to break generational curses, okay? And that's why some of these people are working to stop you. And I feel like some of these people don't even realize that they're being used. They're being used by forces that don't want you to break those generational curses. They don't even realize what they're doing because they're being taken control, taken over. Y'all don't even realize how serious and deep this thing is out here. Like it's spiritual warfare. And some of y'all don't even, don't even realize what that really is, you know? The enemy will use people closest to you to attack you. Who's the people that are closest to you? Your family and your friends, okay? And if any of those people are low vibing, the enemy could, could, could access them and use them to get to you. You see how simple that is, how easy that is, right? These people are put here to make you feel worthless, to make you feel ugly, to make you feel like you're alone, right? Some of these people are highly caught up in their ego and they, they put themselves, they put themselves up on a pedestal the way they think that I'm having like, getting like spoiled brats, right? They come like spoiled brats, like they're entitled. They're entitled to your happiness. They're entitled to your joy. They're entitled to your success. They're entitled to whatever you have, you feel me? And they're highly selfish and they don't give, a, they, don't, they don't care about your well-being, you know? Because they're entitled, it's all about them, right? Your well-being and what you have and what you're, you're dealing with, it never even took um, precedence in their lives, right? Like they never even, they never really cared about anything like that, right? Like who cares about that? It's all about them. That's what it's all about. And Spirit is saying, you know what? It's like, you've given them opportunity after opportunity and Spirit has sat back and allowed you to do that, and allowed you to have that free will to do that. But it's like, these people are not learning from their mistakes. They're not learning to start treating people with respect or with, with kindness, especially if you're giving that back to them. Now, if you want some toxic, if you're on some toxic shit with them, then hey, that's a complete different ball game. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the ones who are out here minding their own business, who want to see their family win, but their family don't want to see them win. Their family actively tries to, to, to knock them off whatever pedestal that they feel that they're on to knock them off their throne and, and to stop them from being abundant, to stop them from being successful. Some of these people have also actively caused you money problems and issues, caused some of y'all to go bankrupt, caused some of y'all to, to, to have your credit get bad. You feel me? It's time for us to come out of these labels because these labels just was, 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 was hurting us, was killing us, was, was holding us back. The labels. Once you take the labels off of it, you'll see exactly what it is. You put two products side by side with each other, take the labels off the product, and then you make your adjustment then and there, right? Some of this stuff just been like, just had a, a little pretty package to make you think that it's something, but it's really not, you feel me? Now you guys, to start us off, what I did was I pulled some cards from the, the private eye deck. Now I rarely do stuff like this. I was like, you know what? Let me pull, let me, let me see, let me see who's around me, what fake friend is around me, what family member I need to watch out, da da da, whatever. You feel me? I said, let's do that. Let's do this. I already know about the family, right? I already know about the toxic family part, but I need to know about the friend part. Which which friends are hanging around in my in my area? in my vicinity with they fuck shit, you feel me? We're gonna be looking into that too. And this gonna, this may also resonate with some of you guys too. I'm gonna pull some more cards for the collective too after I do this. But I wanted to show y'all too, 
you know, trying to be as transparent as I can over in certain areas. Now, some shit y'all don't even know nothing about, you feel me? And some shit I don't even know about you either, you feel me? But yeah, this I'm gonna share with y'all because I've never done this before. Now, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I got hidden, right? This person is hidden. You don't even know. You don't, I feel like you guys don't have no clue, no idea. I don't have no clue, no idea with who this person was or, or what they were truly about because I might have been giving them the benefit of the doubt. You guys might be giving somebody the benefit of the doubt as well, okay? We got co-worker. This might be somebody that y'all working with, you feel me? And me, um, this could be somebody that I work with. This could be somebody who works at my job, okay? I already determined that it's not, it's not somebody at my job, all right? I already know them snakes. I already know who's a snake over there. I, I got them mapped out already. But this might, for me, this might be somebody that's online as well, that works for me online. Because this is this is a job too, you feel me? It's not my main job, my primary job, but it's a job. This is somebody who has bad vibes towards me. They're giving me bad vibes, you feel me? Like, I, Spirit might have been trying to tell me, look, yo, look, bro, look, bro. That person right there, there's not, they're not the one. They're not the one. They're not the one for you. But I might have been like, oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe, giving them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, 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 whatever. But it's like, yeah, you're gonna maybe your ass into danger if you don't, if you don't snap out of it. We gotta stop giving people the benefit of the doubt, you guys. Now, let me reset this camera right quick. All right, like I was saying, we gotta stop giving people the benefit of the doubt, you feel me? It says a female. This person might be a female, okay? For some of y'all, it could be a male with feminine qualities, with feminine energies. I'm not saying like a feminine person, but like feminine, they're in their feminine energy. This is somebody who's a liar. They lie to your face, you feel me? Even if you, if you, even if you approach this person, even if you confronted this person, they're gonna lie about it. They're not gonna tell you the truth. You feel me? This is somebody who was a past friend, okay? So at one point, this could have been somebody who was your friend in the past. For some of y'all, this might be somebody who, um, who's no longer your friend, okay? Or it could be it could be somebody who started off as a friend, but then they transformed into something else, right? They transform into competition. They transform into to envy. They transform into something that was petty as fuck. You feel me? Because I always tell people this, and this is to anybody, even if you're an enemy, if you're one of these people, if you're this person right here watching this video. There's no way that we could be in competition with each other because we ain't on the same motherfucking page. I'm that, and I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. Ordering the court, we're not on the same, we're not on the same level. Period. You feel me? Because if you were anywhere near my level, you wouldn't even try to be seeking people as competition. You wouldn't see nobody as competition. So that right there lets me know that you ain't on my level. You like, I'm looking down at you like this. Now y'all can sit and say, oh, you being conceited, da 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 I don't fuck what you think. I don't care how you think, I don't care how you feel. I don't give a fuck, I don't care. It is what it is, you feel me? Y'all need to stop this, we need to stop this also, this thing too, which we're saying that, oh, we all on the same level, we all on the same da 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 No, we not. I used to say that, I used to say that same thing too, but we not, because we see how people are out here moving. Now, if you see somebody scrubbing the ground, slithering on the ground like a snake, and you know you don't do that, you know you up vibing up here and they vibing down here, how in the hell is y'all on the same page? How in the hell is y'all on the same level? Make it make sense. Order in the court. How is y'all on the same level? Now, I know I'm going to get some marshmallows that's going to pop up in the comments and be like, yes, we are. You're not better than me. You're not da 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 But you comment, that, let, that lets me know all I need to know, boo-boo. It lets me know everything I need to know. So stop it. Because it's not, stop it. If you think you're going to make a profit, because it's not. Where the hell that came from? I don't know. But y'all, but come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Some of y'all past life, some of y'all have past life vibes with this person. When you first met this person, you felt like you knew them, you know? You felt like y'all knew each other, you know? They felt, they, they may have even felt like family. You may have even called them that, you know? Current job. This is where you, some of you guys currently work at, you feel me? This person is vibing low, low levels. They came in like they were trying to help you, rescue you for some, from something. 
Yeah, they were trying to rescue you from getting away. <laughs> they were trying to rescue you from getting away from their ass so they can't attack you. Some of you this person has Capricorn in their chart, okay? I am a Capricorn son. It ain't me because I don't give a fuck. You feel me? I'm not trying to stop you. I want to see everybody win, right? So don't come with that. Some of y'all, this is somebody who's your sister, right? This might be a sister. They may be somebody's sister, okay? They might call you, you might call them sister, sis. They might call you sis, sister, or brother. Some of y'all, this is a new friend, a new person, okay, in your life. They may have Pisces in the chart as well. This is somebody who, who uh, it's just future as well. So this is somebody who doesn't plan on leaving your life. Even though they hating on you, even though they're in secret competition with you, even though they don't really like you, okay? They don't like you at all, especially from what I'm seeing right here. They don't like you. They're not planning on leaving. That's just how sick and twisted their mental is, you know? We got false DM, false divine masculine, false divine feminine. This could be somebody who, who tries to Pretend that they are a spiritual warrior. Pretend that there are some sort of divine, divinely guided, whatever, whatever, whatever label you put on it. But they ain't about that. They they scrubbing the ground, you feel me? They scrubbing, they crawling on the ground. No, no, order in the court. You fake and you phony. No, some of these people are stubborn. They don't want to hear the truth, right? Even if you told them the truth, or even if they discover the truth, they're not going to change because they have their mind made up. And once they got their mind made up about you or somebody else, they're going to ride it until the end. Even if they wrong as hell, they're still going to ride it to the end. That shows you how ignorant these people are, bro. Interference from lovers, okay? This could be somebody who listens to their, their girlfriends, their boyfriends, their husband, their wives, or whoever the hell they're dealing with. Maybe that maybe they got somebody who's who they talking to who don't like you So now they follow suit too. You feel me even though you not doing nothing to them This person is mental they got mental issues that elevated don't go all the way to the top Their cake is not done in the middle. It's jiggling. It's jiggling. You know when you took it out the oven when, when it was taken out of the oven It was still jiggling you know what I'm saying? That's not done. You can't put no frosting on that. You can't put frosting on that. They're a fake ass supporter. They come in like they supporting you, but they don't really support you. They don't care nothing about you. They're toxic. They don't like you. Highly intuitive. This is an intuitive person. So if y'all online, this could be somebody who does tarot, which kind of shocked me too. Like, I'm not even gonna go into that. I'm not gonna go into that, I don't, fuck, I don't care. You can hate me all you want to. But for some of y'all, this person works with y'all if you work in a, in a place, in a building or whatever. This person can be very, very intuitive and they use their intuition for negative. You know, they use it for the bad, for bad reasons. Let me pull some more cards for you guys. Who else is these people? Tell us about these people. Who we need to watch out for, this toxic family. Ooh, don't be trying to get away from me. Toxic family and fake friends. This is somebody who always wants to play the victim, you know? They could do something to you. They, they could do you something, you feel me? They could do something to you and then turn around and, and flip it. It's like, oh, I'm the victim. Why are you acting this way towards me? Bitch, I'm acting this way towards you because you fake. You're phony. You don't like me, remember? For some of y'all, this y'all best friend or they claim to be your best friend. Mm. They claim to be your best friend, but this, this mofo is cold hearted. They don't care. Only thing they care about is themselves. Order them in the court. They don't care. They cold hearted. Some of y'all, this y'all, this y'all aunt. This y'all auntie. Well, this person's an auntie. Some of y'all, this y'all own aunt. Who needs to be smacked in the face. Y'all need to smack her in the face. This person may have a child, okay? Or they may act like a child. This person is out here acting reckless. That's why spirit is like, yo, uh, you, 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 you doing too much. I'm gonna need you to sit down somewhere. You're doing too much. 
You're doing too much. Now we gotta bring you to the to the podium. We gotta bring you on the stand. Look, online. See what I told y'all? Online. This might be somebody who knows you from online. Are they watching you from online? Or like me, it could be somebody who works online also. But like me, it could be another reader. But no, we see you. We see your ass. We see your fake and your phony ass. We see you. We own you like white on rice. We stop. <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention, don't pay me no attention. Gifter, this is somebody who gives you things. I feel like they give you things to throw you off the scent, you know, throw you off the, what is it? Throw you off the trail, you know? Some of y'all like them sniffing dogs. You're like, you, 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 you walking right towards that person. They're like, uh, 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 let me, let me throw something out there. Oh, you're like, oh, it's not them. Huh, yes it is, it's they ass. It's them. Some of them may have Scorpio in their chart, okay? Who cares? All we know, all we know, all we know is they trash. I don't care who comes on here and be like, why are you judging people, bitch? I don't care. I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of you, shut up. Why don't you, instead of you coming on other people's pages and hitting them keys, hitting them keys and all on your phone, why don't you set up your channel and you work it out that way. Let us see your face. Come from behind the, 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 the phone. Come from behind the computer. Get out in the front. Say it with your chest, you feel me? Stop being so scared. It's a lot of scary people out there. A lot of people, they're just so scary. Like, why are you so scared? Why you wanna sit and hide behind a little profile on a thing and not really let us see what you about. You know what I'm saying? You about that life, then show us, set up a channel and be about that life. Address us like that. So we can address you back, you feel me? Let me stop, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna respond to your ass on before. <laughs> I'm just gonna block you, keep moving. I'm sitting, I'm, being, I'm I was just lying right there, I was just lying. I'm not gonna respond to your ass, cause I don't care. Some of y'all, it's y'all own daddy, it's y'all own father, or this person is a father, all right? A grifter, this is somebody trying to use you. This is a whole scam artist who tries to make it seem like they are higher, they're on the high horse, and they're better than people. But they're really not, you know? Some of y'all, this person is married. Some of y'all, this person is married with children. Some of y'all, this y'all own neighbor. And I wish y'all go over there and smack this. At that name. No, I'm just, I'm stop. I'm just playing. But y'all, don't go smacking on neighbors. Y'all just ignore the neighbors. Ignore them. Ignore the. Don't feed the. the don't feed the animals. Some of y'all, this is a whole stranger, a whole stranger that's hating on you out here. A whole stranger. Somebody don't even know you. Like don't even know you, but they passing judgment on you. How you don't know me, but you passing judgment on me? You don't know nothing. You don't know. Me and you ain't never had a conversation. Me and you ain't never kick it like that. But you think you know me. You know how weird you sound. That's that's weirdo moves. That's you a weirdo. A whole weirdo. Some of y'all, this is somebody from school or somebody where you learn something from. It could be on the job as well. Multi-party. This is a group of people, you guys. For some of y'all, it's a group. For some of us, shit. It's a group of people. It ain't just one person. Some of y'all, it's y'all cousin. Okay? Y'all cousin is coming through. Somebody, whoever it is, could have a secret child that could be a Virgo or have Virgo in their chart. Dang, uh, I was gonna say something about that, but I'm not gonna say it's just pertaining to me, but I'm not going, I'm not gonna do that. A teacher, some it might be a teacher, okay? Or somebody who teaches people things, or somebody who's is who's a spiritual counselor, or somebody who does readings, you feel me? Uh somebody who gives spiritual guidance. I know y'all got y'all calculators turned on. Some of y'all is a Sagittarius. They could have Sagittarius in their chart and they're a big old fat hater, okay? So we know what we need to know right now, okay? Y'all, I try to make this short, but it don't look like it's gonna be short, you know? Y'all click off whenever the hell y'all want to, do what you wanna do. 
my fam. I know y'all riding with me, period. We we here ordering the court. We here. What are, what are some things they try to stop you guys from having, but you guys still getting it anyways? This person try to affect your bag in career, all right? They try to stop your career progress, okay? They try to stop you from elevating. Some of y'all, they try to stop you from starting your own business. Some of y'all, they try to stop you from leveling up and getting promotions on the job. And um, if you are online, they try to stop you from getting gaining subscribers, gaining views, or whatever the hell you wanna do with your life in that area. They try to stop you. They try to affect you in those areas, okay? But some of y'all, they didn't want you guys to travel and be able to move forward. You guys are going places anyways. You guys are elevating anyways in your career. So if anybody try to stop anything in your career, it is not going to work. Any obstacles that you've been uh, having, it is going just where you're gonna have your breakthrough, okay? You are gonna have your breakthrough in career and the travel. Travel could be physical travel, you going places, or you actually going places when it comes to the bag, to the green, when it comes to the money, when it comes to your career, you leveling up, right? And you moving forward in your life. They're not gonna stop that. They don't wanna see you achieve certain things, but they're not gonna be able to stop it. Fuck you, what you thought this was? You thought, you thought we were just gonna lay down and let you bulldoze over us and take our dreams from us? You thought we was gonna let you bogart our life's purpose and let you succeed with it and not do nothing? That's what you thought? Mm. Nice. That's cute. Cute like a little puppy. We got light in your load. They, they try to make, these people try to bring burdens in your life, okay? And what's gonna happen is things are gonna be shaking, things are gonna be moving, and your load is gonna be light in any ways, you feel me? You're gonna have the help that you need. It could be coming from your spiritual team, be coming from uh, your soul fam, it could be coming from you hiring new people, assistants, I don't know. Some of y'all might be bossing up when it comes to your money, your career, either way, your load is gonna be light. And some of you guys could be moving from a tough position to uh, one that has less responsibilities with, with, with more money, I don't know. Love, they try to stop your love life, okay? They try to stop people from loving you, people, people from respecting you. They try to stop you from getting that husband, getting that wife, getting that boyfriend, getting that girlfriend, having that friend, having that friend group. They try to stop you from having this. They wanted you to feel like that nobody was on your side, nobody agreed with you so that you could do what they wanted them, what they wanted you to do, yes. They wanted people to see you in a negative light, but it's not happening like that. Because the love is hitting you from all directions. Be it platonic, be it spiritual, be it romantic. It's hitting you from all directions. They can't stop that. They can't clear the energy out. Order in the court, you feel me? New beginnings. They try to stop your new beginnings. They try to stop your level up, but it's not going to stop. For everybody out here, levels done change. Levels done change. You have new beginnings coming for yourself, okay? That's what's up. New beginnings. They ain't stopping nothing. They thought they were gonna stop something, but they ain't stopping nothing. What else we got? You know what? I'm about to switch decks. They ain't stopping nothing. You know what? I kept getting this car right here. I got this car two days in a row. Sedna, infinite supply. That's for us, infinite supply. It says, you are supplied for today and all your tomorrows, which means that abundance is going to flow regardless. It is not going to stop, okay? That's why I don't know why people who, who are in competition with us, why they feel like they got to stop our bag so they can get a bag. Like, are you dumb? Do you not realize that there's an infinite flow of abundance for everybody to eat, everybody to get a piece of the pie, or hell, everybody to get their own pie? You don't have to get a piece. You can get a whole pie. Getting a piece is limiting yourself. And a lot of people who are hating on us or trying to stop us are people who deal with lack mentality. They ain't used to having nothing. They ain't never seen no money like that. They ain't never seen no love like that. They ain't never seen no success like that. So once they get a little glimpse of it, a little taste of it, they don't know how to act. Spiritual partnership is coming in. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Your soul tribe, your soul fam, your soul mate, your love soul mate. All of that good stuff is coming in for you guys. Like I said, 
the love, they can't stop the love because people gonna love us regardless. People show us love on a daily basis. Just like the other day, somebody came into my comment section talking about, oh, I'm going to um, unsubscribe from your channel. Like I gave a fuck, I don't care. Unsubscribe, ho, unsubscribe. They told me, un <laughs> they told me I'm gonna unsubscribe from your channel because you're judgmental, that same person, right? But I feel like honestly, afterwards, I feel like that person actually misunderstood. Like he he didn't know, like, I think he had the wrong idea. He was thinking that I was like, you know, um, talking crap about people that believe in religion, which I was not talking about that. How the hell was you talking about? I grew up in a, in a Christian household. I've been in, up, in, up and throughout the church. I've been to Sunday school. I have nothing against people in their religion. I, I welcome all religions. I welcome all spirituality, you feel me? Like, what the fuck? Why do I, who, am, who am I to tell you who to believe in or what to believe in? Like, make it make sense. But I feel like this person, see now, that's what I talk about too, about misunderstanding. There's some people who just, who, who, are, who are just here to misunderstand you. They ain't trying to, they're not trying to understand you. And those kind of people, I don't need around with me. I don't want your fake ass on my team. So if you wanna go, 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 bye, bye girl. I mean, who cares? You feel me? That's my whole thing, like who cares, bruh, sis? Who cares, go. And my thing is, I forgave this person because I knew that this person was just operating off of a misunderstanding. They, they, didn't, they, they, they thought one thing when it was really a different thing, right? I was talking about people who hid behind religion, um, who uh, use religion as a scapegoat, you know, to, they can do, go ahead, do crimes, hurt people, trafficking, all this, all this crazy mess, and then hide behind that image, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that people would not suspect them, right? I'm talking about those kind of people. And I'm sure maybe if he knew or understood, his calculator wasn't turned on. So it might be broken, I don't know. The way, let me stop. Um, but I feel like if, if he knew, uh, that's what I was talking about. Maybe he would have approached it a little differently, but hell, you blocked now, so I really don't give a fuck. So, and I'm not about to unblock you. Bye. Intuition. They wanted to block your intuition, especially those of us who are light workers, who are um, fucking spiritual warriors. Those of us who are empaths, who are out here working to help the collective conscious, um, or just people in general. You navigate in your life. They wanted to stop your intuition because they know that you got talent. They know that you got something that's genuine, that's real, right? A lot of people try to fake it, right? They, a lot of people are out here faking it's like, oh yeah, I'm intuitive, I'm, da -da -da, I'm highly developed, da -da -da, but they not. You not. And we can see that because those of us who are tapped in can see when somebody's real and see when somebody's fake just because they're not saying something. And just because a person is not saying something that you that does not agree with you doesn't mean that they they don't have these gifts. Like make it make sense, right? I don't agree with a lot of people but that doesn't mean that they're not intuitive or that they're not intuitively developed. You know what I'm saying? We just don't agree on something and that's okay because we're all different people. We're all individuals, right? We're not gonna agree on everything, but we should still be respecting each other. That's the whole thing. Some people feel like just because you disagree, that means you gotta disrespect. And then they feel up because you are spiritual or, you know, you walk that path that you should allow them to, to disrespect you. Where they do that at? Because I'll violate your ass right back. Because you, <laughs> I will violate you right back, right? And y'all don't want me, y'all do not want me to get out of my bag. A lot of times, people be looking at my, my posts and they be saying, oh, he mad, he mad, he da da da. Trust and believe, ain't none of y'all on here seen me mad yet. Trust and believe, none of you guys. None of y'all on here have seen me mad yet. You haven't. None of y'all witnessed it. And I promise you, I stay away from getting to that place like with all my might. Because <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there and even and reveal nothing to y'all, but trust and believe none of y'all on this, none of y'all on YouTube have ever seen me get mad. None of y'all on who follow me on Instagram have never seen me get mad. None of the people I work with at my job have never seen me get mad. 
I'm hella passionate, but that don't mean I'm mad, you feel me? Happy in it, try to stop your happy in it, baby, but look what's coming, baby. Look what is coming, baby, a happy ending. We are getting our happy ending anyways. Anyways, we getting our happy ending anyways. Can't stop that. Can't stop that. Sorry, y'all. Happy ending. They try to stop that, but it's still coming. I love this. I love this, a happy ending. Whatever whatever wish you have for yourself is going to come true anyways, or it's coming true right now, ordering the court. <laughs> whatever goals you have set for yourself, you will still obtain them as long as they're in the realms of reality. Y'all gotta keep that in perspective. Keep your calculators turned on. But whatever dreams you have going for yourself, it's still happening. They're not gonna stop nothing. They're not gonna be able to stop it, okay? Because it's divinely guided, you know what I'm saying? Now let's get into some, um, cause I know we, we moving up in the time there. Let's go ahead and get up into some, some karma. What karma is coming for these people, for the collective? What karma is coming for these people who are attacking the collective, these toxic family members and these fake friends? What karma is coming for them? The ones who hide in the shadows, who try to disrespect us, try to violate us, and try to hide. The ones who throw on rocks and then try to hide their hands because they're scared. And I hope y'all, you know what? If you are that person as a reader that you, that, that you hate in, me in secret, I hope you're watching this. I really do. From the bottom of my heart, I want to let you know too that I don't, I don't have no animosity towards you because I really don't care enough to be having animosity towards people. Where they do that at? You think I'm a you think I'm a waste my time holding a grudge against you and mess up what I got going on? Where they do that at? And for that for anybody who comes on here and attack me for no reason because you you don't like my light or whatever I forgive you too because you don't know no better because your calculator don't work. Your calculator is broken. It's broken. And it probably never worked, so you don't know no better, you know? You can't help it. You was raised by wolves, and you can't help it, and I don't hold that against you. First one out, reversals, all right? We got reversals. It says that this person's life, these people's life, they're going to be turned upside down, okay? Turned upside down, where nothing that they do is going to work. They're gonna feel like, start feeling like this world is against them and they're gonna start feeling extreme stress and like everything is wrong and they're feeling a sense of hopelessness about their, about their lives because nothing is going in their favor. Everything, it seems like everything, it seems like they were in a globe and their globe was turned upside down on their ass. Setbacks, they're gonna come across setbacks, okay? When they take two steps forward, they're gonna take two, they're gonna be knocked three steps back, you feel me? And they're gonna be held back with no breaks. They're gonna experience failure after failure and then be frustrated by it, okay? We got watching you prosper. Baby, I told you. Didn't I tell y'all we're gonna have our happy ending? Y'all better start listening to me. We are still gonna have our happy ending anyways. We wanna know why? Because we've been doing the right thing. We've not been out here hurting people. We, we've not been out here uh, trying to tear people down, right? We might pop back. We might clap back at you. We might clap back at you when you attack us, but that's different. That's not the same. That's not the same thing. That defending yourself and attacking people unprovoked, that's two different things. You feel me? You can defend yourself. Nobody ever said, and don't ever think that it's not okay for you to defend yourself because it is very much so okay for you to defend yourself. And I advocate you to defend yourself. I'm not trying to promote no violence, but I'm telling you to, to set. Uh, healthy boundaries for yourself and don't let people come in your life and violate you because it's not right You know, especially when you're minding your own business me. I always mind my own business. I'm calm cool collected I do my own thing until somebody come over and say something stupid Some most of the time see what y'all don't realize is that most of the time I just delete and block you feel me now on the occasion I might address it and then when I when that on that one time I address it it'd be 15 people who I don't blocked and now one person, the 16th person I address 
Somebody gonna come behind them and be like, why are you saying that to them? Why are you acting like that? Stay in the light. Stay within love and light. Don't give them your energy. Da -da 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 -da. Order in the court. First of all, I'm grown. You don't tell me how to react. And I, I've, and, I, and I preach this all the time. Don't ever let nobody tell you how to act. How to react. Hell, don't, don't let them tell you how to act either. But don't never let nobody tell you how to react towards somebody attacking you. That is your own choice and decision to make. Not little Miss Sally homemaker, not Tyrone the mechanic. No, it's your decision. If somebody's attacking you in your face, trying to take you down, it is your decision to what you, how you respond to, period. And don't feel ashamed about it and don't feel bad about it, you know? Don't let nobody try to take you down and make you feel like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said, da da da, bitch, I said what I said and I said what I said, period. What are you talking about? Now, these people are gonna watch you prosper, okay, with that happy ending. These people are gonna see you as a missed opportunity because they could have been riding with you. They could have been on the same team with you. They could have been there with you with through day one and being a supporter, being a real friend to you, being a real family member to you. And they could have also, like, I'm sure you guys would have, like, you know, helped them out along the way too. You know what I'm saying? But now they're gonna be watching you prosper and they can't come along with you oh well and they're gonna be shocked and surprised seeing you excel seeing you move towards this happy ending they're gonna be shocked and surprised that they can't take part in it and they're gonna have to watch you in awe and they're gonna be spying on you and watching they're gonna see it okay spirit is gonna make sure that these people see your elevation that these people see your success okay and they're gonna be jealous about it and do we care? The next one is employment. Oh, I don't wish this on nobody. Trust and believe. I do not wish this one on anybody having employment issues. We got, they're gonna have issues finding work, them being unemployed, and then having to depend on other people, depend on their family, depend on their friends to help them pay their job, pay, the, pay their um, bills, to give them a place to stay for some of these people. And them being stressed out, them taking loans out, and them being overlooked when they go and look for jobs, all right? And I feel like a lot of these people, once they do find jobs, it's going to be temporary work. And then they're going to find, you know, it's going to be a minute before they do find a permanent position. True love. These people will have blocks finding true love. Them coming, them thinking that, oh my God, I found the person of my dreams. And these people, the person ends up being your friends with benefits, okay? Somebody showing them fake love short-term connections, and then experiencing heartbreak and disappointment and the loss of faith behind it. Outcasts, this is them being rejected by their peers, people turning away from them, and them inner, their inner child wounds being activated as a result of this happening to them, people turning their backs on them, right? And they're feeling lost, alone, and inadequate. And now them, they're feeling misunderstood. You see how how we can't, how I told you guys about being misunderstood by people judging you and assuming shit about you? People gonna turn around and do that same thing to them. Because you shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. Misjudging people. And if you know that you was wrong, you should have brought your dumb, lame, marshmallow soft ass back and told them apologize say sorry ain't nothing to say that you're sorry even i tell people that i'm i apologize the fuck scam these people are going to be played okay played in love betrayed but played their friends are going to play them too and then being betrayed tricked somebody's going to trick and betray this person play with the heart and they're going to be they're going to feel used and be mad because of it aging issues Okay, we all age, yes? But sometimes, some people age a little quicker. And some people, the, the arthritis kicks in a little faster, all right? This, these people are gonna be receiving uh, age-related issues, accelerated, accelerated, increased effects, illnesses, injuries, being them being fragile, them having arthritis set in, right? And them being moving slower, okay? And their past habits, catching up with them okay job issues again yo employment unemployment is hitting these people and job related issues is hitting these people really 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 strong i'm hearing spirit is like i'm gonna hit them where it where it hurts right a lot of times 
people could get over like love and shit like they didn't get over stuff like that but when it comes to our jobs and stuff like that and our well-being that's why i don't wish that on nobody even if you're an enemy i don't wish that you lose your job you know what i'm saying but this ain't got nothing this is beyond me you feel me it ain't got nothing to do with me i'm just a messenger here i'm not the one that's saying you're gonna lose your job you're gonna da -da -da. i'm not the one saying that you see me pulling cards here and you see what the cards say so don't be dumb don't be dumb all your life don't make your make your parents proud and fix your calculator and turn that bitch on and add at one plus one and two and da da da. You feel me? Now this is them having tough times at work, them being demoted, them being micromanaged, people watching their every move, them being overworked and not being paid for it, them being backstabbed on a job and overlooked for promotions and, and and them receiving stress because of that. Relationship issues. We got love connections falling apart, heightened emotions. Their lover or whoever change, having to change a heart, like saying, you know what, I don't want to be with you no more, bye. And then, you know, then and them causing damage, irreparable um, damage to their connections, right? Due to dis, uh, differences and due to them being stuck in their ego. These people have ego issues, okay? Now, what we got here is reversals. Their life being turned upside down, them having setbacks, them watching you prosper, them having employment issues, unemployment issues, them having issues finding true love, them being feeling like an outcast, them being scammed, them having aging issues, them having job issues on the job once they do find work, people making their job and their work environment a living hell. And then we have their love relationships falling apart and that's what it is, that's a verdict. Okay, that's what I got for y'all. Now let me give y'all a little advice before we close out. It's gonna be a motherfucking two hour video. We ain't gonna do that. Let me close, let me wrap this up. Nah, I was gonna give y'all a, um, a ancestor card too. Yep. It says open up on the bottom of the deck. Open up and then allow yourself to trust someone. So I feel like you guys are gonna be meeting people that you can actually trust. You're gonna be meeting people who you can actually, who will actually treat you like family for real. You feel me? Uh, whether they're a friend or what, Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a label. You're gonna be meeting people who are gonna be able to, who are gonna treat you like family and respect you and value you as a person. Okay. Also, you are the only one who can limit yourself. You are the only one who can limit you. Nobody else can tell you that you can't have this. You can't have this happy ending. That you can't have a spiritual partnership. That you can't increase and improve your intuition. You feel me? Nobody can do that. Only you can say, well, I give up, you know? And I hope that you guys don't give up. I hope that you guys, even through all of this, I hope you guys keep going and not allow these people to stop you because what you have ahead of you, you have a lot of abundance and success ahead of you. You have your happy ending in whatever way that, that, that plays out for you. You feel me? Now, the, oh, wow. Your ancestors are telling you to be thankful, all right? You gotta be thankful. This is beautiful. A beautiful way to end out this reading. Hope you can see it. But it says be thankful. To show gratitude and appreciation for everything that you have in your life and how far you guys have come and for the harmony that's getting ready to come into your life, right? And your ancestors are saying that they're working hard to, to, to bring more harmony into your life. Okay? And they're telling you to, to show your appreciation. Some of y'all might be putting up altars um, for your ancestors and doing, you know, ancestor rituals. You don't have to do that, but some of you might be doing that or you might already have an altar. But I'm hearing like, you know, be, stay in a state of, of gratitude, okay? Stay in a state of gratitude because you guys are moving forward. On the bottom of the deck we have, go after your goals. Persist, okay? Because you will, guys will, you will get this happy ending. This happy ending is within reach, okay? I'm telling you to, encourage yourself and they're they're trying to encourage you too for you to advance forward so y'all got for some of y'all yeah it's gonna come in just like this okay you don't have that far to go you may things may seem a little far off but you don't have that far to go keep going keep advancing forward and be thankful and, and be stay in a state of gratitude for yourself okay that's what i got for you guys for this reading if you like it like the video subscribe to the channel for more readings and if this resonated with you in any kind of way, go ahead and comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about it, okay? Keep in mind, you guys, 
I'd, I'd be so busy with everything that I can't I can't like comment or reply to every single comment that I have there but I try to just pick up you know a couple here and there whatever but y'all know I really appreciate everything y'all do um all your respect and all your love and all your uh the motivation that you give me I really appreciate y'all okay all the love and what's that what, what's that phrase I'm trying to say I'm trying to say love and support all, all your love and support I really appreciate you guys thank you guys so much take care Ciao.